All right. Good evening. Uh, sitting in for our esteemed uh, chairman is Gary Johnson. My name is Paul Springer. I'll be sitting in tonight for him. Uh, we'd like to, at this point in time, uh, call to order the uh, Valley Center Planning and Zoning Board uh, and Zoning Appeals. The, uh, we've got an agenda tonight that's uh, fairly full, so we, we can try to move along as fast as we can. Uh, it's the, uh, so I would like to make at this point the roll call. Uh, and of course, Gary Jansen is not present. Um, Brian Shelton. Here. Rick Schellenberger. Here. Mike Boyd. Here. Steve Conway. Here. And Toby Meadows. Let the record show the call of the roll. Um, the, uh, we'd like to set and amend the agenda, and, uh, and I'll look for a motion. Motion to approve the agenda. We have a motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, we'll take the vote of all four. Say by saying aye. 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 Those nay, say by voice vote. Uh, motion carries. So we now have set the agenda that's before you, and uh, we'll next call for the approval of the minutes. Now, these are draft minutes uh, as of September 28th, 2021, and uh, looking for a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. And we have a second. Um, all those in favor will close that, and all those in favor uh, of the approval of minutes signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Hearing none, uh, approval of minutes stand. Let the record, let the record show the movement. And um, next item we have on the agenda, as you see it, is on item E, which is communications. And um, I'll ask for staff if they've got anything that they want to add to that. Okay, we are seeing none. We'll move on to the first item this this evening of the uh, uh, public hearing before the, the Planning and Zoning Board of Zoning Appeals. And I'll just read into the record quickly. And this is a review of uh, SD 2021-04, application of, of Art Marguez, pursuant to section 16.04, who is petitioning for the approval of a final plat for the land located north of Ford Road and west of Craig Street, currently addressed as 2740 East Ford Street in Valley Center, Kansas, and of course the zip code is 67147. Um, at this point, we'll go ahead and open the um, public hearing uh, for comments, and uh, we'll let the record show the time is 7.03. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, before you tonight, again, is the final plat approval for the Hidden Valley subdivision. Uh, you'll recall last at last month's meeting, you approved the preliminary, so this is the final. Again, this will create 62 new single-family residential lots. And uh, the applicant, Art Marquez, on his behalf this evening, we have Jeff Ray, uh, who I invite to, speak, invite to speak during the public hearing, should you have any direct questions of him representing the applicant. Again, this new 62 lot subdivision uh, will incorporate uh, new, uh, as you see here, I'll be, uh, the entrance will be off of Ford Street. This will be served by public city water. The roads will be paved. Uh, but then uh, just as a reminder, earlier this year, city council did approve a waiver allowing for open ditches, which will be maintained by the future homeowners association, uh, as well as septic, private septic systems on each of the lots. Uh, the final plat does meet city requirements and regulations and has been reviewed and is recommended for approval by city staff. Public notice was published in the Art Valley News as well as letters submitted to the surrounding property owners. Uh, no, uh, there are no, have been no objections to this project of this final plat. And just so you're aware, what will happen is once, you, uh, once it's approved by you tonight, it'll go before city council at their next meeting, which will be next Tuesday for final approval. Once city council grants final approval, uh, we'll collect the, ne the necessary signatures on the city side, and this will be filed with the county register of deeds office, which will 
convert it from what it is now into the lot and blocks that you see uh, before you on the screen. Um, again, staff does recommend approval of this final plat, and I'll stand for any questions. And again, invite the applicants, uh, the applicant's representative, Mr. Ray, to address the board as well, should he choose. Okay. Do we have any questions for staff at this point on this project? No. Okay. Seeing none, uh, we'll go ahead and move into uh, the petitioner. Uh, please address your you know, full name and of course address and, and uh, purpose for this plot. Sure. Good evening, Planning Commission. Uh, my name is Jeff Ray. I'm with JEO Consulting Group at 11213 Davenport Street, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, it's a pleasure to uh, be back before you again this month. Um, as staff has indicated, um, the subdivision um, offers a different type of housing that you currently have available really in Valley Center. So we're pretty excited about this and the opportunities if it can be here for these uh, 60 plus homes uh, to come online here in this next year. Um, the roads will be paved um, and as staff indicated, it'll be on public water. They will have alternative sewer um, as well as um, what we refer to as rural ditches that will be maintained by the Homeowners Association. Um, so we're trying to preserve as much of the land and the natural topography as possible, as well as the trees that are there in the site currently, uh, hoping that uh, that makes for a very, very nice aesthetic uh, for those um, homes and to maintain the natural drainage the way it currently exists today. The majority of it does flow to the south. Some of it goes to the north. Um, and as we get into our, our final engineering plans, uh, we'll get into all of those details and coordinate uh, with PEC on what's being done on Ford Street and the improvements there um, as our drainage then um, gets taken over by them on their project that's actively um, going on with the Ford Street. With that, um, I'll take any questions you may have for me at this time. Okay. We, uh, one request I would have for the the folks that are maybe sitting in online with us tonight or catching it on YouTube, would you give us kind of a brief description of the housing product that you're you're proposing on this site? Uh, sure. I uh, apologize. I didn't bring uh, those houses with us, um, but uh, the house, there's three different houses housing products that are currently being looked at with different facades uh, available for those. Um, and they are all anticipated to be two and three car garages, um, three and four bedroom homes, some with basements, um, some with walkouts, and then some will be slapped potentially on grade um, to have a different variety. Um, oh, there we go. We got from, uh, from last month. Um, thank you, Brent. I appreciate that. Um, so there's um, some different options. I don't remember the exact square footage. There's some uh, proposed housing facades um, that uh, um, Art is currently building uh, in the region. Um, and these are some that he's proposing for this area. Um, so, and I don't recall exactly what his specific price range was, um, but I believe it was in that, uh, that 300 target um, to hopefully uh, provide some affordable rural type housing to individuals. Now this and these will be, um, um, you'll be developing these yourself or is this going to be open for um, multiple developers to, in terms of actually building the structures? Uh, at this time, the developer is also a builder um, okay. and is um, envisioning that he would be building the majority of the homes. Um, some okay. of them would potentially be open to be to be sold off in, in chunks. It's not not mandated that at that point at this point sure. um, but at this point that's the envision is that they'll build the homes um, and be a developer builder combo very good yeah this is helpful because you guys like to say a lot of people don't have the opportunity to attend and and we have a lot of people that will ask questions so we appreciate that uh, that review sure. and uh all right um any, any more questions from well i'm just i'm just curious on uh on lot number 12, why the shape it is rather than lot 13 going along or just a curiosity question. Uh, of which block are you talking about? Lot 12, the really weird shape one there in that lower left, that one. Oh, uh, um, the, that one right there? That's Art's- oh, The one that looks like a hammer. Yep, that's that's Art's existing home. Oh, okay. So, 
he 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 literally will be a neighbor here. Uh, that's his yeah. existing home, and he takes takes access uh, off of Ford Street directly to the south there. Uh, I'm just so, curious. I, I knew there yeah. was a reason. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> it, it does look odd. If you look at it and you don't look at it in context or on an aerial where you understand, oh, there's an existing home and outbuilding there um, and pool. So uh, Art um, will we'll continue to, to live there and, and be part of this neighborhood. Okay. Well, then, you know, would, does that conclude your comments? Yes, it does. Okay. Of course, for the record, this is just a review of of RZ 2021-04 application um, are, was pursuant to section 1711. And uh, they're petitioning for a rezone of the land, um, which is currently A1 and the city's designation. To, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, that's true. Okay, that's, uh, then at this point, we'll close the public hearing at uh, 711. And the, uh, I will entertain a, uh, a motion at this point to to approve. Um, Your motion. Based on city staff recommendations, public comments, discussion by planning and zoning board, I, Commissioner Schellenberger, make a motion to approve SD-2021-04. Hmm. Do we hear a second? I'll second. second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve. Um, and that's SD 2021-04. Um, let the record show the, the motion and, and the member seconding. Uh, so I'll call for a, a, um, a vote. All those in favor of signal life saying aye. 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 Uh, those opposed? Seeing none opposed, motion carries unanimously uh, for approval. Uh, that, uh, Congratulations. All right. Anyway, that's uh, next we move to the one I just read, which is a review of RZ 2021-04 application where our was pursuant to section 1711, who is petitioning for a rezone uh, of land that's currently zoned alpha one which is the city's designation for agricultural district. So we're now rezoning from ag to uh, RR1, rural one, which is the city's designation for a suburban residential district. The land is currently addressed at 2470 East Ford Street, Valley Center, Kansas. And of course, the zip code 67147. So at this point, we'll open up the um, uh, hearing for comments from the public. Uh, that uh, will note the time is 7.13. Anybody like to speak? Staff? All right, so now in conjunction with the final plat, uh, we'll now rezone this property. Again, this will go before city council once you approve it with the rezoning ordinance with that first reading uh, plan for next week once you've granted approval. Uh, so RR1 again is the designation for a suburban res residential district. In RR1, the lots are usually larger, it's more of a rural feel. And so we feel that RR1 is the best designation for this rezoning and uh, city staff does recommend approval. Um, again, with this, the public notice was put in the newspaper as well as letters sent to the surrounding property owners. Uh, there were no protests and no objections to this rezoning application. Okay. Any questions of staff at this point for members? Well, I have only one question, Ryan, just out of curiosity. Would you, I would think anyway, would you not want to have the property rezoned first before approving the property? Um, you can, so we're doing, we did the platting first. You, you could technically go the other way. It makes sense in my mind anyway, uh, that we did the final plat first and then the rezoning second. Uh, for this parcel of land. Uh, so now we have both the new lot designation and now we have the rezoning designation. So uh, what will happen at city council next week, again, we'll uh, have city council look at the final plat first yeah. and then do the rezoning ordinance with two readings. Yeah, I would agree with that because if there's any issues uh, it's uh, that won't meet city standards and the rezone wouldn't be approved. That's simple. Right. It's not rezoning for just anybody. <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, all right, I'm going to open the hearing now for comments from the public.
And uh, on this, we got, I'm going to note the time at 7.15. So anybody? That's true. I'm good. All right. So we'll uh, ask. Go ahead. Again, Jeff Ray for uh, representing Art Vasquez with JEO Consulting Group, 11213 Davenport Street, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I don't really have anything else to add, whether the staff did, other than this makes in conformance for the for the final plat, as you just previously approved, yeah. um, unless you have any additional questions for me in regards to this. Any questions zone. on the rezone from members to the applicant? Right. Nope, seeing none. All right. Uh, then we'll close the public hearing at 715. Uh, the recommended motion based on city staff recommendations, public comments, and discussion by the Planning and Zoning Board um, will entertain a motion. Um, I motion to approve. Okay, we have a motion to approve. Um, and of course, the motion is for RZ 2021-04 rezone. Uh, any seconds? Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, we'll call for the vote. And all those in favor of RZ 2021-04 signify by uh, voice vote. Up by aye. saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, seeing none, um, we will uh, uh, for the record, show approval of the rezone. And once again, congratulations. Look forward to the development. Looks like you're going to do a quality development, which is, you know, is uh, always, you know, quality always begets quality. with all follow on projects and Valley Center is, is beyond the move in a very quality way. So, you know, you're a big part of that. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Next item is a review of this is now RZ 2021-05, which is, of course, a different number than we just read. Application of Richard Davis pursuant to Section 1711, who is petitioning for a rezone of land that is currently zoned RR1 which is a city's designation for suburban residential district to C2, which is a designation for a general business district. The lot is currently unaddressed, but located on the south, correction, northeast corner of the intersection of 5th Street and Seneca and Valley Center. Uh, and of course, the zip there is still 67147. Um, this time we'll, we'll uh, Open the hearing from the public, noting the time at 718. Staff. Good evening once again. Uh, the applicant, Mr. Davis, I spoke to him on the phone this morning and he had a prior engagement and was not going to be able to join us this evening. Um, again, he appreciates the board uh, taking his rezoning application under, cons uh, under consideration. As noted in the applicant's letter that's attached at the end of my staff report, the reason for uh, this rezoning application is because uh, Mr. Davis has received an inquiry from some people that would like to construct some kind of office building on this property. And prior to selling this property, uh, he is going through the rezoning process as, as, as part of that uh, selling offer. And so he is rec he's asking for approval again to change this from RR1 to C2. Uh, which would allow in the future whoever does end up buying this pro whoever's interested in buying this property to construct a commercial building um, i would tell you that with this being a commercial building what will happen is once you approve the rezoning again this would go before city council for rezoning ordinance which would officially change it from the r1 designation to c2 once uh, the in in interested party if they pursue it and they end up buying it uh, prior to them constructing the building would have to go through the site plan review process which would come before this board the planning and zoning board so the only thing we're approving tonight is just the rezoning of land we're not approving any buildings not approving any construction just a rezoning of property so that it can be sold to this potential party that mr davis is working with at this time and then at some future time we would receive a site plan application prior to issuance of a building permit. I would note that uh, this area is, un is, is a mixed development across the street. 
is uh, the medical center. So that property is zoned commercial. And then on the southwest, uh, sorry, the southwest corner, uh, that will be part of the Trails Inn subdivision. That is going to come before you next month as the final plat. And this corner, the southwest corner, is uh, going to be rezoned there. The applicant is going to request a rezoning to C2 as well. So three of the four corners, should you approve this one tonight, and the rezoning next month, three of the four corners will be zoned C2. City staff does recommend approval. And again, public notice was published in the newspaper and letters sent out to the surrounding property owners. Uh, no objections to this application either. Okay. Any questions from members to staff at this point? Oh, he got off easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, seeing no other um, persons from the public that want to speak to this issue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close the public hearing at 720. And um, now we're going to be the recommended motion in this case, based on the city staff recommendations, public comments and discussions by the planning and zoning board. Um, I'll look for a motion. Hi, Commissioner Schallemarger, make a motion to approve RZ-2021-05. Okay, we do have a motion in red as a record. Uh, do we have a second? Okay, we do have a motion and a second. Uh, this, and of course, just reviewing again, this is a, this is a rezone subject to uh, city council. So seeing no other questions, I think uh, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, uh, motion carries. And um, the, uh, we have stated that the board has now approved this to go to city council. So uh, number four, we'll just keep moving on here unless there's any questions. Review of, um, this is uh, V's and Victor 2021-04, application by Kristen Bliss, pursuant to city code 17.10.08, who is petitioning for a side yard building setback variance of one foot to allow for the construction of a building addition to an existing home's house at 634 North Abilene Avenue in Valley Center. Um, at this point, we'd like to open up the, uh, uh, the hearing for uh, comments from the public and we'll state the time as 722. Staff? Okay, so this property is zoned R1B, and per that zoning designation, a side yard setback uh, by zoning regulation is six feet. Uh, the applicant, Kristen, and her husband, Taylor, who is with us this evening, Mr. Bliss, uh, to answer any questions you may have of him, uh, their, their family is growing, and they would like to build an addition on the back of their house, as well as put on some solar panels. Uh, they're looking at some green technology here. And so in order to do that, uh, this building addition will allow for a better alignment of these future solar panels. And uh, when they looked at doing this construction, they wanted the southern portion of the proposed addition which you can see here in the survey uh, that was done by Mr. Savoy. Uh, they wanted that to line up and be flush with the existing southern line of the house. And so in order to do that, they are requesting a variance of one foot. So reducing that side yard setback from six feet to five feet. Uh, you'll see that there is still ample space on the north side and as well as uh, a little over five feet on the south side uh, once this would be approved. So what would happen is uh, as the Board of Zoning Appeals, if you approve this variance, the next step will be for the applicant to file their building permit to construct the addition, and then in a future time, an, a, a separate permit to do the solar panel. I, I will note that the applicant did submit a letter that explains this request and very thoroughly, as well as the building survey, which shows that the proposed addition uh, that would conform with this variance is going from six feet. Uh, I only received one uh, after the public notice was submitted to the newspaper, and as well as to the surrounding property owners. I received one inquiry from a neighbor. They were not opposed to the project. They just wanted more information on why they received the letter in the mail regarding this variance request. He answered their questions, and that individual was not opposed to the project at the end of our public conversation. Uh, city staff does recommend approval of this variance. Again, uh, Taylor Bliss is with us this evening, and uh, would invite him to speak if he chooses to do so over the variance public hearing. Thank you very much. Any questions from 
members at this point on this uh, most difficult application. <laughs> hearing and seeing none, I'm going to close the uh, public hearing and let the record show it's 725. All right, we'll get right into it. Uh, recommended motion based on city staff recommendations, public comments, discussion by the Board of Zoning Appeals, and I'll and call for a motion to a member. Motion to approve. Need a motion? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Then um, I'll uh, call for the vote. All those in favor by votes vote uh, by saying aye. 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 Any any opposed at this point? Okay. Um, at that point, you you've been granted approval. Congratulations. Look forward to your addition. And uh, the uh, that was one of the easy ones tonight. Thank you. And staff did a good job on that. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and feel free to sit in if you want to hear any more. Get that <laughs> Congratulations oh, yeah. on the family, Tim. <laughs> yeah, she'll be excited. Let your wife know you twist our arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's currently 726, and we're moving through the agenda pretty swiftly. Um, the next item, of course, is um, is new business. Um, we'll ask staff to address. Um, yes, just very quickly, I want to provide an update on a previous application that was approved earlier this year. Um, out along Fifth Street, there was uh, back in April, or sorry, in March, a request for a lot split. This was LS-2021-01. Uh, this, at the time, the property owner owned this lot and was pursuing, potentially pursuing a commercial development on this property. Uh, that fell through, and the individual actually sold the property to somebody else. And uh, the, new, the, the new owner was not made aware that the lot split was approved by the Planning and Zoning Board. It was, so it was approved by you as the board in March, but it was never filed with the Register of Deeds Office. So in consultation with our city attorney, uh, he said because it was not filed with the Register of Deeds Office, all that's required is that I notify you as the Planning and Zoning Board uh, that LS-2021-01 is null and void. So it has been withdrawn. Yes. Exactly. So if, now, if it had been filed, if it had been filed with the register of these to it would have been totally different. Process, yep. Yes. But it's okay. just one parcel of land. So okay. I do my due diligence letting you know that that application has been withdrawn and it's now null. Yeah, okay. Uh, in conjunction with that, the property, that new lot was also rezoned. And so the applicant during uh, the next month for me, the new homeowner of that property, will be coming before the board with a rezoning application to change it back. Back to A1. So a heads up, that'll be one of the applications we're going to review at the next month's meeting. Uh, because that was approved by, by City Council with a rezoning ordinance, we go through that process again and again in consultation. Uh, so we will that'll be one of the applications we review at the November board meeting. But I wanted to let you uh, let you be aware of that situation that that lot split uh, is, is no longer, and the rezoning will be uh, addressed at the November board. Okay. So was that was that null and void based on time, or was that based on ownership? It was based on the fact that it wasn't filed with the Register of Deeds Office within a certain time frame. Or? And that time frame has nothing to do with it. It's I just not official. The city attorney said that just because it wasn't filed doesn't uh, exist. It's still one parcel of land, even though you as the board approved it. Uh, he said that it is. Null okay. and void if the new homeowner doesn't want it. So, okay, okay. So, so they, they did not want the lost. Gotcha, and gotcha. Because the original property owner didn't file it, yeah. uh, it is one, just one single parcel. Okay. Gotcha. Well, so the record, we'll let the record uh, reflect that no action is required by the board and it was done administratively. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll move on now to, to item H, which is old or unfinished business and we hear there's none we'll move on to item i staff reports uh, just if you will mark your calendars we will have four applications to review at our next meeting which will be november 23rd at 7 p.m if you can please put this on your calendars I, this is the week of thanksgiving and i 
understand that people travel and family, all of my family that you're going to be in town. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for the week of Thanksgiving because it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but if you can, just still reserve that time on November 23rd at 7 p.m. We will be here with your four applications to review. Okay. Uh, so I'll do my best to get us through it as quick as I can uh, so we can get back to your families. Okay, I, Thank you. I'll be here. Okay. Any any items um, uh, by planning and zoning board members? Anybody, anybody bring it to the attention of the board? Okay, I'm assuming I'm seeing none. Um, at that point, uh, unless there's other comments from staff, uh, I'll call for the uh, adjournment of the planning and zoning board BZA. Anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. Oh, well, I guess I made the you motion. Made the, made the I made the second. Yep. No, I made the motion. Oh, you All right, that's okay. Okay. We have a motion on the table. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? <laughs> See none. <to. laughs> so let the record show that we've concluded the planning his own morning meeting at uh, 7 31 p.m. Pretty expeditious, given the fact that, uh, and congratulations to staff by guiding us nicely through those agenda items. Thank you for your service.